Hi friends, my name is host Eric, I'm the host of a YouTube channel called Talking With Famous People. You probably recognize that it's a YouTube channel since you're probably watching it on YouTube. Regardless, today I'd like to talk about somebody that I perceive as simply unhealthy pollution in the data stream, namely Teal Swan. For some reason, my phone suggested I read Teal Swan's latest yeah, and I looked at it and I was like, what the hell? This woman is not somebody anybody should listen to. She she will only bring you down to the dark depths of whatever. There's nothing good to be heard from this woman. Airing our dirty laundry in public is only a problem in a society which is built around judgment. Since when did... Like, what does that mean that it's a problem even, right? You know, it's only a problem. Is it a problem? Is airing our dirty laundry a problem in society? What, what does she mean by that? Regardless, that's not the part I'm going to get to here. Those beings who really recognize the truth of oneness and whom find freedom in there, being nothing to hide, instead live by this premise, all of those things I am hiding, all my stories and secrets and truth belong to you as well as because I am you in the end. In the end, there is no separation between us and therefore I will not perpetuate the illusion of this separation today. So the thing is, Teal Swan, I can guarantee you that among you and everybody who watches your channel, there is not a single person who is more open and transparent than I. I have nothing to hide. But I do not live by your premise at all. Not remotely. I do not hide things, not because I am you in the end, but because if I'm doing something bad, I need to stop doing that and remedy the situation by coming clean, acknowledging my wrongdoing and, and making amends where necessary. And if I'm not doing something wrong, then why should I do it in secret? The reason I do this is I see there to be both personal advantage. In other words, it's the m and strategy. You always get out in front of your enemy. The m and at the end of 8 Mile strategy, where he, te he first wraps everything that the next guy is going to say about him. And thereby renders the, that fallen guy impotent. There's nothing. There's no power and that which one is not ashamed of. So it is true that having shame for that which is not a wrongdoing empowers others to your own detriment. And which also means that it's not the case that being open is any indication at all that I think my stories, secrets, and truths belong to you as well. I don't think that at all. My stories belong to me. Your, whatever you make of them, whatever you take away from whatever I have to say, may belong to you. It definitely does. I mean, it doesn't belong to me. Um, the point is, to the extent that you want that word "belong" to mean anything, what you what you're trying, what she's trying to say here is metaphorically, it's good to share your experience with other people or something. But then say that. This shit here? What is the thesis here? Airing our dirty laundry in public is only a problem in a society which is built around judgment. So, your point is in a, in a totally transparent society that only evil would be condemned. Perhaps, I mean, if, if she were going to make a good point, she would say something like that, right? But she's not making a good point. And what she's doing is she's conflating or she's using a true thing, basically, that transparency correlates with self-confidence, I guess. Or um, if you want to use some stupid word like actualization, uh, then fine. It's true that the transparency is always going to lead to that because tra being transparent is a form of being honest. 
it's not it's not now not being transparent is not a form of being dishonest but um but being transparent is a form of being honest okay so this is complete garbage doesn't say anything of value is incredibly misleading projects her frame of reference onto everybody and is falsified immediately by me and yet it's got 2.8 thousand likes and 150 comments then this this one here you will find this comes at the right time, with only a few weeks before you have to decide if you're going to spend the holidays alone, or go meet your family and hate every minute of it. You have an opportunity to begin the process that will put you on the path of healing. Hot dog love. <coughs> what? What are you saying here? Are you saying that... You have an opportunity to begin... What process that will put you on what path of healing is is going to is going to hang out with family that you hate? The process will begin the path of healing. Is deciding to spend the holidays alone the process that will put you on the path of healing, or is listening to Teal Swan's nonsense the thing that you're referring to, which I'll simply refer to as hot dog love or data stream pollution? Um, I know it's a band aid. <laughs> Will you stop projecting your shit onto everybody, please, Teal Swan? <sighs> Most people don't hate spending time with their family. And you shouldn't try to set framewalk them into feeling as though they ought to or that's normal. Right? It's like, that's that's not normal. That's not good. That's not a frame of reference from which most people start. And if it's a frame that you start from because of your own personal trauma or something, that's understandable, but don't project it onto the world from the role of guru, for God's sake. This woman should not be listened to by any human being who has their own interests or anybody else's interests at heart. She is data stream pollution at its least healthy. You will get COPD breathing this shit in metaphysically, right? You will get ideational COPD. This is pure, unadulterated. This is a desecration of language, truth, meaning, and everything good. <laughs>